And make sure you have some water handy. That's always good. Where I'm sitting today, I guess. Uh, about halfway up on your chair, we're gonna get you to take three breaths to start, okay? Feet flat on the floor, heart lifted, and your back is flat, right? Relax your shoulders and your jaw. You're gonna inhale from your belly or diaphragm, okay? So a nice deep breath in through your nose. And just exhale. Two more. Excellent. Perfect. All right. That's half the battle. Heart lifted, back flat, and breathing right. Perfect. I'm going to get you to turn your head to your left. Again, not pushing anything. It's all just kind of warming up joints. And just glance in behind with your eyes. See if there's anything behind you. Bring your eyes back in line with your head. And then your head back to the front, back to center. When your neck allows, you're going to turn your head to your other direction, to your right. And again, just glance in behind with your eyes. Bring your eyes back in line with your head. And then your head back to center again. Perfect. Chin to chest. Look towards your chin. Excellent. Bring your eyes back in line with your head again. And then bring your head back up to center. One more. Lift your chin up. Gentle stretch on your neck. And again, no pain anywhere through this exercise class. Look up. Bring your eyes back in line with your head, and then your head back to center again. Nice. You can work with that. Perfect. Some shoulder rolls. Drop your arms down. Nice, easy circles with your shoulders. Again, just find what feels good here. We're just trying to wake up your joints, We're not trying to shock them into submission. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be good. And change direction when it suits you. Remember, breathing in through your nose and from your diaphragm. Excellent. Or belly breath. Let your shoulders come back again. I'm going to swing around here just a little bit. All right, still on the center of your chair, feet flat on the floor. We're going to do some trunk circles, or we call them Sufi rolls also. Just put your hands on your knees, lift your heart. And you just, as if you've got a washcloth washed or wrapped, wrapped around your torso, and you're climbing, trying to clean the inside of a barrel. And your arms are doing the work, moving you around. And again, you're trying to keep your heart up all the way through this. Excellent. And again, small circles are fine. You don't need to go big, but again, find what feels good, right? Get you to change directions when that suits you again. Come back the other way. You kind of take in notice of your breath, how you're breathing as you make these rounds. Perfect. And bring yourself back to center again. Nice. Excellent, by the way. Pick a foot, doesn't matter which one, we're gonna do both. Just gonna tap your heel. Give you a nice easy tap, doesn't matter. Again, you're still waking up joints and stuff, so it's all good. Try and keep this as going as long as you can, at least for this exercise. Opposite arm, then make a bicep, or <laughs> make a fist, and you're gonna do a bicep curl. Bring that fist up, flex your bicep and your wrist, or your fist rather, and then release both down. All right, so flex at the top and release both down. 
Nice even breaths here. Flex, excellent. Release, two more. Flex, and release. Flex, and release. Excellent. I'm just gonna shake that arm out. We're gonna switch legs. So this leg is gonna do the foot tap, All right? Opposite arm, same thing. Keeping your heart lifted and your back flat. Bring that arm up, flex, and release it down. So flex, and release. Flex, nice. Flex. Perfect. Do three more of these. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Release that down, that foot. We're going to change both our feet here. All right. Um, let's do a little on your chair. We're going to try and do this easiest way I know how. Come up to the front of your chair. Don't fall off. <laughs> Just break so you're at the front edge. Make sure you have a good sturdy chair. If you don't, I would say don't sit so close to the front. <laughs> Want your feet out in a big V in front of you. Bring your toes out to the side, just as far as they'll go. So this is for your hips. So we're warming up hip joints. Again, be really mindful of what's going on in your hips. I mean, you can easily go too far either way. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna keep it nice and even here. Okay. Right. So we're gonna add your breath to this also. So as you inhale, bring your toes apart. And as you exhale, bring them back together again. Okay. So hold on with you from your chair. Excellent. That way you're pretty secure on the chair. Also using your wrists and fingers, right? Nice. Inhale. Feet apart, exhale, toes together. Excellent. And again, don't push, just find what feels good here. If it doesn't feel good, I would say stop. All right? You'll get more different exercises all the way through this that you can use. Excellent. One more, out, and together. Fantastic, bring those feet back up. Nice work. From here, again, you can back yourself on the chair a little bit more, a little more comfortable. Not all the way, don't go that far. And <laughs> it gets you to roll your wrists up front here. All right. And again, working, warming up wrists, shoulders. Excellent. Fingers, you can wiggle them if you like to. Change direction. Nice. And just put your hands out front. Just wiggle your fingers out there and get you to flex your wrists also. If you want to change this up a little bit, uh, we'll do that later. Excellent. Hands out front. Grab. I'm going to pull in. Nice deep breath in. Reach, grab, and pull. Reach, grab, pull. Reach, grab, and pull. Perfect. Reach, grab, pull. Two more. Reach, grab, and pull. Reach, grab, and pull. Fantastic. Bring your arms down. Nice. Let your shoulders reset here. Do what you need to do to get them to reset. All right. We are going to go that's pretty much all the major joints warmed up and that's what I was kind of shooting for here. So if you have water with you, definitely take a sip of water. Keep it handy. We're going to sit for a little bit of this. I'm also going to get you to stand too, so don't get too comfortable. All right, uh, let's go with them. Um, we'll do heel lifts together. So it's going to get you to actually not together, alternate might be better okay get that idea like you're walking right 
hands down by your side and facing your forward, your, to your front. And push. All right, so from your midline and up. So, this isn't too bad. Lift your heart. Keep your back flat. All right. Breathe from your belly and in through your nose. Let me slow this down a little bit. Back and push back. Excellent. And push and push. No higher than your shoulders if you're bringing up that high. Excellent. Perfect. Bring your arms down. And we're going to flip them around so your hands are facing to the back. Adjust here. <laughs> Make sure you're not going to hit anything. On your side here, and you're going to push back this time. Keeping your feet going. Push. And in line. And push. Try and keep your arms as straight as you can. And your back flat, too. It'll want to arch. Don't let it. Stay within that limit. Right? Push back. Excellent. Three more. And two. And one. Fantastic. Bring your arms in front again. Keep your feet going. So that heel lift. Hands in front. And push out front. And you can make this as hard as or as easy as you like. So short pushes. Again, it's easier to stay with the beat. If you push longer, it's a little more work. If you can do it, fine. Excellent. So four more. Three, two, and one. We're going to push up. You can go one hand at a time if two arms is too much. Excellent. Four more. Three. And two. And one. Bring those arms all the way down. Fantastic. Shake them out. Keep your feet going. Trying to get that heart rate raised up a little bit. This is part of our moderate to vigorous exercise. One of those, just a few minutes of that 150 per week, right? Toe taps to the front. Don't need to go far. We're going to add arms here. And you're going to exaggerate your arms. So you're pushing, not pushing, but you're going bigger than your normal range of motion. Excellent. Perfect. So keep your arms the same. I'm going to get you to bring your feet to the side. So toe tap to the side. <laughs> Two, three, four. <laughs> I'll get this too. <laughs> side. There we go. You don't have to go far either. Just, just a little toe tap out to the side. And your arms should be going forward. Usually messing stuff like this up. Kind of get your brain working. That's a good thing too. Exercise isn't just about your muscles. Excellent. And toe tap back to the front again. Excellent. Perfect. Bring those arms down. Nice. Bring them all the way down. Back to your heel lifts. Okay. Heart lifted. Back flat. Nice. Nice deep breath. Perfect. Keep those feet going. I'm going to catch up to you. All right. So again, watch what's around you. Make sure you've got some arm room here. You can do some big swimming type motions. Breath stroke. And reach. Nice deep breath in through your nose as you bring your arms back. Fantastic. Try and keep those feet going. 
kind of like swimming, kind of. Excellent. Two more. One more. Nice. Fantastic. Bring those arms down. Again, let your shoulders reset here. Keep your feet going though. Nice. Have a sip of water. You should have that with you. Stay hydrated. So simple, so important. All right. Let's do a little, uh, because it's spring, a little table cleaning. So you've got two claws on your hands. Table's about your choice of heights. It can be up high or it can be down low. Whatever you choose is good. And you just, like, you've got two claws and you're trying to clean off this table as, as quick as you can, but you get the idea. And make sure you get both hands on the one side. Change direction. Both hands on the other side. Nice. Perfect. Nice. All right. Toss that cloth away. Nice work. Now it's windows. All right. Again, two separate claws. Hands up in front of you. Small circles. I'm going to make sure you get those corners the top, left, and right. All the way. Excellent. On the other side. Again, circular motions across the front. Do your best pantomime. And then down low. Excellent. It's a really low window. Over to the side again. <laughs> and up the side. Circle your circular motions. Excellent. You don't have to say it. All you have to do is do it. Excellent. Bring those arms down. Nice, clean window. Perfect. Fantastic. Bring your shoulders down again. Nice, even breaths here. Excellent. Uh, and do some heel work. So bring your heels to the front corners. I know you really can't see my heels. You have to accept it that they're going there. Add your arms. So right hand, right foot, left hand, left foot kind of thing. Excellent. So your heels are digging into those front corners. Nice and easy. Perfect. And let's bring those heels up front and your hands are going to follow. Excellent. Your heart lifted and your back flat. Turn a little bit so you can see better. Excellent. Heart lifted. Out to those front corners again. Kind of a funny angle, eh, from where you look, <laughs> where you see me. Doesn't feel as funny when you're doing it. But... Excellent. Nice. One more time. To the front, heel digs, hands follow. Nice. Perfect. And back to your heel lifts again. So as your ankles warm up, bring your heels up a little higher. Again, work within your limits, right? Excellent. Um, let's do a little uh, punching. or whatever you want to call it. You have lots of options for this. So uh, start with your dominant hand. I'm going to start with that. So punch on that one. Opposite, a hook, and an uppercut. All right? Punch, punch, hook, and uppercut. Punch, punch. If you can keep your feet going at the same time, excellent. If you can't, that's OK. Punch, punch, hook. And up. Excellent. And up. Punch. Punch. Hook. Three more. Punch. Punch. Hook. And up. Punch. Punch. Hook. Last one. Hook. And up. Excellent. Keep your fists up. 
like you're holding eggs. All right, we're gonna switch sides. So your non-dominant hand is gonna start first. Count you in, four, three, two, one. Punch, punch, hook, and up. Punch, punch, hook, up. Punch, punch, hook, up. Punch, punch, hook, fantastic. Keep a small bend in those arms as you bring them up. Punch, hook, two more. Punch, punch, hook, and up. Punch, punch, excellent. Bring those fists back. Fists in front of you, just gonna open your fingers up, just wiggle them. Keep your feet going, nice. Get you just do some tuck your elbows into your waist hands face up make fists okay and you roll your fist up and then roll it down okay? it's nice and easy we'll start the cool down process here nice up and down okay perfect stop there rotate your hands 90 degrees and you're going to rotate your or bring your hands in towards your fists or Knuckles together, I guess. That's a better way to describe it. Excellent. Perfect. Two more. And again, be gentle. I'm just trying to slow your blood rate down a little bit. And also get some benefit from stretching some different muscles. Rotate your hands another 90 degrees. So now your palms are facing down. And like you're riding a motorcycle, just flip your wrists and then down. If you've never rode a motor, ridden a motorcycle before, it's, this is all it is. Twist your wrist. Excellent. Like a bicycle with a motor. Perfect. Right there is good. And just wiggle your fingers out front. Perfect. Drop your hands down. And then just shake them out nice and easy here. Perfect. Shoulders. I'm going to do alternate shoulder shrugs. Okay. Pick a side. We're gonna do both sides, nice and easy. So bring it up, hold, and then down. Other side, up, hold, and down, switch. Don't go to your 100%. And down, other side, up, hold, then down. Excellent. Up, hold, then down, other side, excellent. Hold, then down. Stop right there. Perfect. Uh, hands, we're gonna get you to roll your wrists here. Keep them low. Excellent. Excellent. Bring them out about 45 degrees. Just out a little bit. Perfect. Change direction. Fantastic. Okay. Instead of rotating your wrist, Rotate your whole arm, about the size of a plate. Your size of a plate. So both arms are rotating, same. Excellent. Change direction. And I know your arms are probably warming up. I can feel it. Excellent. You stop right there. You bring your arms down. Excellent. Let them relax here for a second. Wiggle, shake. Whatever you need to do, nice. Uh, some bicep curls here. Again, tuck your elbows in like you've got a barbell and it magically can go between your legs or through your legs. <laughs> so arms straight, bring that arm up, perfect. Flex at the top, hang onto that barbell as it goes all the way down. Up, flex your biceps and then release that bar down, but hang on to it. Flex. Nice, keep your feet going. Heart lifted, back flat, nice. Perfect, two more. And up, flex, and down, and up, flex, and down. Fantastic. Again, just wiggle your fingers down, low, nice. Arms, perfect. Keep your feet going. I'm gonna get you to bring the heels of your hands together. 
extend them out front and open your fingers out. So it looks something like that. Spread your fingers, nice. And then bring your hands together, clench your fists, open it again, excellent. Rotate, same thing again. Bring your fingers in, open them up, just like a flower. And open up, perfect, rotate the other way, nice. And bring your hands apart, again, shake them out. Wrists, shoulders, I think we've got everything covered here. I'm happy with that. All right, have a sip of water. We're gonna move on to weights. Uh, you can sit or stand for weights. I'm gonna sit. There'll be a few exercises that you can, can't do standing. So I'm gonna capitalize on that. Excellent. Just take a nice deep breath here. Don't need to rush into this. Just breathe. All right, let's start with uh, let's start with feet here, or legs rather. So take your weight, if you're using a weight, or whatever you're using, even if it's just your hands, stack them on the one leg, okay? Bring that feet up. Actually, we're gonna go, no, general exercise, we're not gonna go crazy here. So bring that heel up, and then back down again, all right? All right, lifted, back flat, best posture. Bring that heel up, and then down. So nice and smooth, up and then down. Excellent. Up and down, nice. Up, fantastic. We're gonna do four, three more. And two. And one, excellent. Take those weights or your hands and switch sides. So on the other leg this time, same thing. Bring that heel up and then back down. Okay. So I'm doing eight of them, I'm down to six. Nice and smooth as you come up and smooth all the way down or smoothish. Four, and three, two, and one. Nice, fantastic. So take those weights and bring them into your hip crease. Excellent, so you got a good grip on them. Perfect, I'm just gonna rotate around. All right, so want your feet flat on the floor, Heart lifted, back flat, and here we go. So chest fly, keep her elbows bent, fists together, open that up, nice deep breath in, and then exhale back together. So eight, seven, as you exhale, six, Five, and four, and three, nice work, and two, keep those elbows up, and one, fantastic, bring those arms down, again, put your weights in the hip crease, and rest your shoulders, take a breath. You're not quite done yet. Bring your arms down by your side. We're gonna do a lateral raise. So from the side, bring those arms up and then back down. Again, we're doing eight, or I'm doing eight. You get to choose your number. Seven. So exhale as you bring them up. Six. Five. And four. And three. And two. And 
and one. Excellent, fantastic. Again, bring those weights into your hip crease. Let your shoulders reset here. This is the nice part about doing weights seated. You get to rest your shoulders in between. I know it's kind of cheating, but it feels good. <laughs> I need you to set one of your weights down beside you, just off to, so you don't trip on it or whatever. We're gonna do our extended tricep, right? Get a good grip on that weight. Bring it in behind you. Hand on a thigh or whatever is good. Right. Exhale that arm up. Inhale back down. Okay. Uh, your back should be flat. Feet are flat on the floor. Right. Hearts lifted. Nice. Excellent. Exhale up. Inhale back down. Four and three and two and one. Excellent. Bring that weight in close. Nice. Let your shoulders reset. Take a breath. No rush, work at your own pace, and get you to switch hands. Again, get a good grip on that weight or whatever you're using, right? And behind your head again, even if you're not using weights, always good. Follow through with all of the uh, procedures, your feet flat on the floor, heart lifted, back flat, all that stuff. Because even getting that stuff straight is great. And then once you add the weight, then you're already in line and yeah good thing. We're down to six. And five. And four. And three. Two. Last one. Nice. Bring that weight in tight. Excellent. Fantastic. I'll get you to grab that, put that weight in your hip and grab your other weight. Pick it back up. Excellent. Then take a breath. Take a little break here. Just a little one. Um, let's go with um, push back. I think that will be a good one. So I'm just going to switch around again. Again, keep your feet flat on the floor, heart lifted, back flat, all that stuff. Take your weights, drop them down beside you. Hands are facing towards the back now. Nice even breaths from your belly. You're gonna tighten your belly up because you're gonna need to for this. As you exhale, push your weights back. Try and keep your arms straight and then in line with your body again, okay? No swinging. Just push back and then in line. Six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Fantastic. And again, bring those weights into your hip flexors. All right. Breathe. Nice. How much time we got here? I think that's good. We did pretty good with those weights. I'm gonna get you just to set them aside. Have a sip of water if you like. I think I'm gonna switch it up. So we're gonna stand, do some balance stuff, and then we'll come back down and do some more seated uh, strength exercises. So, let's start beside your chair. You got your chair for balance, right? Heart lifted, back flat. Again, you want, don't want to lock your knees here. Just try and keep them supple, all right? 
Outside leg is going to be your weight bearing leg. Inside leg, we're going to do this number four position or tree pose. This leg, you want to bring it out. Open that hip up. Lift your heart. And test your balance. All right. Breathe. The idea is to hold it for 10 seconds. I'm going to time it. I'll let you know how long that is. Halfway. Not so bad. Excellent. Have a hold of your chair and then bring that leg down. Nice work. Inside leg is going to be your weight bearing leg this time. Outside leg, we're going to pedal. Bicycle. All right. Keep your toe lifted. Pedal. Add that outside arm. So both arm and leg are going at the same time. If you choose, you can add that extra arm. You're okay with that. Change direction. Keep your toe lifted. Your arm's going to follow. Nice. Two more. And one. Excellent. Bring that foot down. Nice work. You come in behind your chair. I'm going to stand beside. But you get the idea in behind your chair, so you've got that support. And because we're doing balance, I'm going to bring your feet together. So at least the toe parts, you can have the heels out more. Okay. Come up on the balls of your feet. Okay. Test your balance. Nice. Heart lifted and your back flat. Alrighty. Now the fun part. Shift yourself over to one side just a little bit, and then lower down. Excellent. Bring yourself back to center. Up again. Other side. Tilt. Excellent. And then down. Excellent. And back to center. It's cool if I have a whole tilting room, right? I'd have to just stand still and the whole room would tilt. And you'd never know. <laughs> Come back up again. The balls of your feet. Over to one side. Excellent. And slowly lower down. Nice. And back to center again. Last one. Up. Over. Excellent. And back down again. Nice and slow. Nice. And back to center. Fantastic. So, staying with your feet together, we're going to do uh, six pop ups. Okay. So, nice and easy. Going to pop up quick. And then slowly lower back down. Okay? Just pop up. Just slow down. Excellent. Three. Four. Five. I think I said six, right? Six. Excellent. Perfect. But you can make your way to the other side of your chair. And we're just going to repeat what we did on the far side of the chair. Okay? Outside leg's your weight-bearing leg. Inside leg, you bring it up. Wrap your foot around the calf. Heart lifted. Back flat. Should be facing you. Better. Get your balance and then test yourself. Nice. Bring that leg out. Open your hips up. Breathing from your belly in through your nose. Fantastic. There, you got your 10 seconds in. Nice work. Bring that leg down. We're going to switch sides. Your inside leg become, becomes your weight-bearing leg. Outside leg, we're going to pedal. Right? You're going to add that external arm and then test your balance all the way through this. Nice. And again, if, if you don't have to hold the chair, add that arm in. All right? Fantastic. Change direction. Keep that toe lifted so it doesn't catch on you. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Bring that back down again. Nice. Give your legs a little shake there. In behind your chair again. You can start by holding. It's all good. Okay. We'll get you to come up onto the balls of your feet again. 
There's a lot of this, isn't there? Balls your feet. Test your balance. We're here. We might just as well, right? Excellent. Now get your lower back down to your heels and then into a squat. And then back up again. Up on your balls of your feet again. And you test yourself all the way through this. If you need to hold on with a, a hand, do that, right? Back down and then into a squat. Back up again. Fantastic. And the balls of your feet. Perfect. Back down to your base of your feet again and into a squat. Nice, perfect. And just back up and you can stay right there. Fantastic. Uh, we will jump into our, back into a chair again. Do some seated strength exercises. So we're working with legs. I think I'm gonna stick with legs just a little bit longer. So about the center of your chair are lifted. I know you're probably cursing me, but it's okay. Pick a leg and pick it up and flex and point that foot. If you need to hold it up, do that. Okay. Excellent. Flex and point. I also want you to rotate that foot in the ankle joint just a few times. Nice. And change direction. Nice. And then set that foot down. Perfect. Other foot, same thing. Flex and point. Rotate. Excellent. Change direction. Perfect. Nice work. Set that foot down. Nice. Uh, from here, let's do some seated crunches. So again, sitting more towards the front of your chair. Heart lifted. Try and keep your back flat. You're gonna hinge from your hips. And bring your arms up like, they've, like they're on rails. You're gonna keep them at the same height as you exhale forward. Inhale back. Touch your shoulder blades against the back of the chair and then exhale forward again. Inhale back. Excellent. So the number here for this one is eight. We're already at six already. Exhale forward. Inhale through your nose. Try and keep that back as flat as you can. As far as I can see, you're doing an excellent job. Excellent. Down to the last four. And three. And two. As you reach the back, just come off that chair just a little bit and hold it for four, three, two, one, and then all the way up. Perfect. Fantastic. Nice work. Um, chair walk. You can chair walk your way to the back of the chair and make sure that your glute muscle is coming off of the chair as you walk to the back and to the front. Excellent. Do a few couple of trips to the front and the back, at least a couple. Excellent. And make your way to the back of the chair and just gonna stay there. All right. A nice gentle paddle here. So all the way back in your chair. Canoe paddle. All right. You got the paddle in your arm, hands up high, 
and then cross over exhale as you cross over excellent so it's a gentle twist on your back so be gentle listen to your body four five six seven excellent change sides exact same thing excellent we're on our way fantastic just imagine you got to get the band to the other side of the island this is how we're going to do it on a boat <laughs> we're going to paddle them across excellent one more perfect fantastic Give your shoulders a little bit of a rest here let me get you to uh, walk your way to the front of your chair again excellent from here i think uh let's do some stretches i think we'll do some stretches i'm going to start seated but we're going to get up all right so anywhere on your chair that works for you the front is the best just saying extend one leg out flex that leg and bring your bring your toe up towards your knee heart lifted both hands on that bent leg excellent tilt forward if you need a little more of a stretch on the back of that straight leg again listen to your body nice even breaths Excellent. Gently release that leg. Perfect. Okay, three choices. Sit here like this. You can grab underneath that leg, pull it in, or grab the shin and pull it in. Your call. Whatever way you choose, lift your heart. Try and keep your back flat. Nice even belly breath for three breaths. Excellent. I'm going to cross over top, so over top, or at the ankles, or at the soles of your feet. Your call. Again, whatever you choose. Nice flat back. Breathing into your nose. Three breaths. switch sides the exact same thing again whatever you did on the one side we're going to match on the other fantastic that leg release it you're gonna do exactly what you did on the other side fantastic doing a great job and then the last bit cross over or meet perfect excellent take that leg down nice and easy perfect have a sip of water we're going to continue but i'm going to get you to stand up So 
behind your chair is good. All right. Go anywhere back here. Perfect. Bring your feet in bigger stance, more sturdy. That's the ticket. Feet are parallel, comfortable, right? Make sure there's nothing you can hit with your hands. <laughs> Should have said that first. Reach for the walls. Nice deep breath here. Excellent. The thumbs and roll them down. Excellent. Hold it. Breathe. Perfect. Roll those thumbs back up. Nice. All right. Now for the entanglement part. Pick an arm. Gonna go high, grab your collar. The low arm's either gonna hang or around your back like a belt. Try and keep a nice, nice flat back here. Elbow back and up as best you can. I suppose I should tell you the goal is to actually grab your hands, grab your fingers behind your back. Whether you actually do it or not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All good. Excellent. So untangle your arms nice and easy. And straighten them back out again. Perfect. And we're going to go to the other side. Same thing. Other hand reaches up and high. Low hand either back or hanging low. Excellent. Breathe. Three breaths. Perfect. And unwind those arms. Perfect. And again, just bring those hands down somewhere around here. I'm going to get you just to uh, rotate one hand internally and rotate the other hand externally. Right? So both hands are facing away from you, except they're just rotated different. Excellent. Hold that. Breathe. Nice. Gently rotate your hands the other direction. Nice. Perfect. And bring both hands in so they're facing your body. Nice. Perfect. Nice work. Um, maybe one more in behind. So either stack your hands or interlock your fingers, but you want to do it in behind you. Okay. Push down with your hands. You're going to feel a big stretch across the top of your chest and also your biceps will feel it. Okay. Push down. Belly breaths. Try and resist the urge to fill your lungs, fill your upper part of your lungs with air. Nice, easy belly breaths there. Excellent. Gently release that. Arms, fingers, shoulders. Nice. Perfect. I think you did an excellent job. You come down into a little squat. Cross your arms. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Excellent. One more time. And just your arms come down this time. Perfect. Fantastic. You did excellent.